said uh, the headline is Ruto Raila plot to push me out and kill Jubilee although on the online paper we have uh, detectives probe Maribe's lover suicide attempt and we'll take that as a headline also looking at the Daily Nation because it's the uh, same story and uh, the Daily Nation we have suspect shot self in Maribe's bedroom let me start with you Ambrose Weda uh, from a legal eye from a lawyer's eye where do you see this case going we know that by last week Jackie Maribe was being treated as a um, um, you know uh, as a not as a suspect uh, but as a witness but uh, by Friday that changed and she was arrested and may be arraigned in court today yeah, I, I think uh, <clears throat> Uh, Jackie may have found herself in a mix because if you if the the, the things as the the, the boyfriend's uh, history is unfolding you find that uh, you're dealing with uh, a fairly dangerous uh, fellow character. character who could have been deranged mm. and uh, she could have been led to the to the, the slaughter chamber without her knowing because from what I read uh, some things were found in her house but I don't see any connection between her and the house where the lady was murdered. So if you get the two of them, you put them as, 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 as charged, you may then have very, you may then weaken the witness, the witness system. Those who will come and tell you this is what happened, it went on like this, like this, like this. But you can clearly see that the boyfriend uh, knew something about the murder of the, the, the lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, all you need is the, the, the scientific evidence, to prove. Uh, uh, corroborated by human evidence, mm. and the matter is game. But if you now then take the lady, because you found a severe bullet, you have found this, then it is really a problem. But I sympathize with the lady and other ladies who fall prey to this kind. some of these guys who go to the gym and their chests are strong and they do the job better. So they confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not ask which job you're talking about right there, but uh, let me also take this opportunity to welcome Senator Irungu Kangata, who is also the Deputy Chief Whip. Uh, thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, Karibu sana. But let me come to you, Michael Agwanda, on this particular case. And not just this particular case, but there seems to be a general increase in murders um, in the country for one reason or the other. Or maybe we're just reporting them more. Mike, um, this is a worrying trend. I think uh, two days ago, uh, Standard newspaper um, had a number of photos of young ladies. And when you look at their ages um, on the headline, they were between 20 to about 30 there. Very, very young ladies that have been mysteriously killed in this country. In most cases, we don't get to hear so much about those cases. The family are bereaved, they bury their loved one, and it ends there. I think there's been laxity in homicide investigation in this country. Laxity to bring to book the people that are murdering these young people. In fact, in most cases, this case about um, Joey uh, and, and, and the lady that, that was killed in Kilimani apartment is, is gaining prominence simply because, as people are saying out there, because of Obado's case uh, with, with Sharon uh, being you know, a, a huge public debate. And so this happens at the right time when Obado's case is up there, Obado is in jail, and Sharon is still at the morgue, and the family are saying, we won't bury Sharon but, you know, until we find the, the murder. And so you find that these cases are now gaining momentum. I really think that the government has not invested hugely in homicide detective in this country, specifically homicide, where you find a detective is assigned to a murder case and he will investigate that case until he dies. Mm to find the truth and to avail that truth and for these people to be arrested. There have also been cases in Mombasa where people have just been murdered. And sometimes they've been murdered linked to either the police or Al-Shabaab. 
But at the end of the day, Mike, you still don't find a conclusive case and say this case happened 20 years ago and finally we found the murder. And again, when we are also talking about serious homicide detective work, then we are also talking about forensic investigation. If you look at the case of Sharon Otieno, where basically the body was found in the bush and then suddenly all the community came in to see what was happening. Definitely, they will spoil and interfere with the little things that the detective will otherwise use for a forensic investigation. Even a piece of an air can somebody t can sometimes take somebody to jail. A, a, you know, a design of your soul, the soul of your shoes, has actually found some people to jail. And so the question that we need to ask as a country is why are we? And by the way, when it is politically connected. Then we've seen even members of parliament killed in this country. And then you never hear about the killers. It mm. goes like that. Mm. I think it is high time people need to know that where death is involved, and more than any other thing, when somebody else is involved in that death, that case must be brought to logical conclusion for us to start having the trust on our investigative department. Absolutely. Otherwise, okay. we will always be getting people killed, it is reported, and it goes on. And it ends there. All right, uh, Irungu Kangata, I don't know if you want to weigh in on that, uh, just briefly. Well, uh, just to differ a little bit with my colleague here and say that uh, so far I have seen police being able to unravel murders. I highly suspect that has something to do with the forensic lab that was established by the government some few years ago. I think going forward, it will become more and more difficult to commit a crime uh, because of the sophistication within which uh, the government is able to track people. And, and therefore, to me, that's a positive step. If you look at the global trends of crime, <coughs> Incidentally, crime has been on a downward trajectory, but it has been overreported, and therefore people have this misconception that crime is increasing. Incidentally, crime is decreasing. And I think also the same trends uh, 